Happy Tuesday to everybody. It is Red Wings and Minnesota Wild this time. Teams that in this game really have kind of the opposite records of, of what they probably should have. The Red Wings, my Red Wings, are uh, succeeding. They're, they're having a great season. Uh, whereas the Minnesota Wild, uh, they are 25 and 25 in regulation this year uh, going into this game. Really, you think that those records are, are would be swapped? I think the Red Wings are just about 500 uh, in real life uh, at this time, and the Minnesota Wild. Uh, the, I, I feel like they're 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 a good team. They're a playoff team that could probably contend to make it uh, deep into the playoffs, um, but not in this game. It looks like they're gonna miss out here in our franchise mode uh, this year. Uh, did want to make some changes, not wholesale changes. Uh, these, this top line uh, that was really designed to score goals, well, that didn't work. We got shut out in the last game uh, against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Is Jonas Corposalo, man, did he have his way with us. Uh, the second line, I just, I really don't know. I, I uh, just haven't seen enough out of, out of really anybody lately. Uh, goalies, I will be putting Peter Morazic in. I'm just waiting for somebody to just... Get a good start. Jimmy Howard had a good first two periods in the last game, and then the third period, it just unraveled. So uh, I think we, we might be in trouble here. I mean, this last this last month has not been easy. I th you know, we really need to, to get it get it going again. I really think we might, uh, we might be in trouble if uh, we don't get it going soon. It is one of hockey's longest standing bastions, the state of Minnesota, heartland of America, and home to many hockey teams, but only one NHL squad, and that's the Minnesota Wild. Hello, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro is coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emery. We get to see a team that's on a good roll right now. And inside that locker room, a good roll <laughs> translates out. Well, that's clearly not you us. You to do the same things that you've done to give yourself an opportunity, Doc. You drive to the rink the same way. You get dressed the same way. You go out onto the ice the same way. You don't want to change anything when you're in the middle of a winning streak. Minnesota's looking to continue this winning streak without trying to change a whole heck of a lot. I expect them to play the same way they've done in the last couple of games. And if they do that, this winning streak will continue. We direct our attention to the net. So we got a tough goalie. task ahead. It's Devin Dubnik. 22-19 and 0 oh on the year. 240 the goals against average. A little bit high. Uh, save percentage. The helmets and freeze the pucks. Eh. Could be better, but he has seven shutouts on the year. The the and then the Peter Morazic back in net. Numbers going down. They were anyway. Now they've kind of hung in the same spot here for a little while. And as the season goes on, it's harder to bring those numbers down. It's Zetterberg and Miko Koivu with the center ice faceoff dot to start this one. And Miko Koivu's going to tie us up. And the game is underway. Oh my goodness, how? They've been piling up the wins with their great play and discipline. He gains the zone. Shoots one. Well, that's not really where I wanted that. see too many guys getting away of blocking that shot. That thing had some heat on it. Minnesota's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. Oh, 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 oh. An interesting little play there, Peter Morasic. You just hold on to that, buddy. Great save. He does his best to get out of the way, but he can't get out of Pope the way. checked now, it into the boards. It just right stopped right, right around the blue line. So Wild were able to corral the puck and, and got it into a good uh, scoring play. So, oh, not quick. Come on. We have got well. to hold on to the puck when we get the chance. We'll see if the opposition can get somebody in his eyes tonight. Make it difficult for him to see the puck. Okay, Ray. Thank you. Well, that's okay. Deke into the boards. Oh, I got nudged off the puck or something. I was driving to the goal and uh, lost control of it. I was going to try and deke and then go forehand to the open part of the net here. And I did. I got uh, barely contacted from behind. It was enough to nudge me off the puck, I guess. We are deadlocked at zero. Tie up there and a good reach and possession. Laid on to Nielsen. 
Oh, Dubnik. Oh, so close there. We're getting our chances in on Devin Dubnik right now. Couple of early rushes on the goaltender. This one, Franz Nielsen, didn't get nudged off the puck this time, was able to get the shot away. Oh, Devin Dubnik hasn't allowed a goal in over two games? Oh, that's not good. Back near the blue line to Erickson. Shot blocked. Great block. Delay, penalty. Oh, what? Up. For what? And we get a penalty. Referee to the table, a player to the box. Is that a cross check? The Red Wings get two for cross checking. That's ridiculous. If the referee sees you lift your stick up with both hands and <laughs> hit somebody with it, you're going to get a penalty. Oh, NHL, are you kidding me? Minnesota's power play is so dangerous because it attacks ridiculous. in several different ways. It's not predictable at all. They should have a leg up on their opponent. Who doesn't well, we'll uh, have to kill off a penalty here in the early going against a team that hasn't allowed a goal in a little while. He's pinned. In their own end, keeps it going. Minnesota's moving well through the neutral zone. Taken behind by Eric Stahl. I didn't really have anywhere to go with that. Oh. Well, we got it out. Not really where. Oh, my goodness. He made a move around me, but then a bad pass kills any chance of that going well. Andreas Athanasiu gets that puck. He'll clear it down. Dubnik actually has to come out and play this. A good pass. Detroit's then knocked off the stick. On. Here's Darren Helm. Is he around? Nope. No shorthanded goal there. And they clear it down. And this is, this is oh, so close to being an icing. A little bit of a dangerous pass there, I know. But uh, it's been a good penalty kill so far. And that continues. Wild just not getting anything done right now. They pass it back. Koivu. Cronwall. Disrupts that pass from Koivu. Got to win this puck here. Darren Helm will clear it again. 25 to go on the wild penalty. Oh, Dubnik with a glove save. And then just plays it to Parise. He'd give it a pass. Now he gets one. Defensively by Green. Oh no! Oh, how did he make that? How did he make that work? No! 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 Ooh, baby! Well, we uh, had a pretty good penalty kill going. I don't know what happened here to allow this to happen. Neither defenseman really went with him. So seven seconds to go on this penalty kill. They want to continue to turn the heat up on an opponent. And we're going to be able to skate with this, and we will be on the power play for a minute and 58 seconds. It's a high stick to the Minnesota Wild. Right off the faceoff, Helm had the puck, and uh, Michael Granlund, that's who I thought it was, got the stick up, hit Helm in the face. See if we can win this face off here four on four for the next couple seconds. And that got blocked. It is just a minor penalty. The Red Wings have control of the puck in their own end. And now it's directed to DeKaiser. Get this up to Tatar. Looks over his options here. Get this just established into the zone. And angled to Zetterberg. Defender held his ground. Puck is loose. Oh! Carried to the corner by Zetterberg. Man, I can't believe we didn't get that. Puck corralled by Barkley. Try to clear Cleared the over the head of Nyquist. 122 to go back down. on the uh, man advantage the for the Red Wings here. Oh, that and caught Devin Dubnik. Up in the chest area. In the torso, but he saves it with the glove. The only option there really was the backhander. Let's get pucks to the net. If we can beat Devin Dubnik, we're, uh, we're on pretty good track here. Two straight shutouts for Devin Dubnik. 
And the Red Wings can't get the puck off the faceoff. Whoa! Played to Larkin. Oh, score! Power play goal, Dylan Larkin! Once I had Vanekin around the net, that was exactly where I wanted to go with it. He got free one-timer. 22nd goal of the season for number 71. This one on the power play. It's a power play. You can keep the puck Ryan the Suter just kept skating. Skated damn near into his goaltender and, and didn't cover goal. Larkin. Vanek able to find him. Franz Nielsen going to get an assist as well. Franz is having a good game so far. Ah, that pass didn't work. That went off of uh, Scandella, though. Oh, he made it around Erickson. Oh, Tatar. Make it up the ice, man. Go. Moved along and in. Takes that pass. The Kaiser shot. Never even threatened the net. I don't know if they can get everybody off, but it's dumped in, and it looks like the forwards can come to the bench. Uh, well, not where I wanted that pass to go. They're going to dump it in, and it hits a stanchion. Fontaine on the slap shot. One nothing Red Wings about halfway through this first period. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Halla just skated right past Jonathan Erickson there. He made a little bit of a cut. And uh, it beat me. Steve Ott had it, lost it. The Kaiser was on him. This is Spurgeon. Coyle, backhander. The wings have it Pass the off the boards to Glenn Denning. It's an onside play. Was looking for a low Keep shot rebound. Didn't net. have the opening. Got it right back. Tries to get it on it's up in the air. Ho, 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 ho. That nearly Minnesota's was a little interesting scoring chance. We're going to get Xavier down. Roulette over here. To, to Smith. Ah, 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 Steve Ott. Skate it, baby, skate it. He's not going to get there in time. That's going to be an icing. 8-19 to go in the first period. Uh, one nothing lead for the Red Wings. Played pretty well, I think. The power play goal by Dylan Larkin gives us the edge right now. First team to beat Devin Dubnik in now three games. Clean win. Straight face off win to the wild here. This is Stahl. Now back to Suter. Oh, left the blue line. Open, tipped in front, and scores. It's Michael Granlund who took the penalty to put us on the power play. Slap shot from the blue line, tip. And he had all day to take that slap shot. We're tied at one. Fifth of the year for Granlund. Did it ever get deflected? Perfect deflection. And it beats Morazic. Position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. So it is Granlin from Brodine and Suter. Brodine took the initial shot off the great feed from Ryan Suter. And now we're. Ah! Well, not really where I wanted that. Zetterberg. Whoa, Nyquist. Almost there for a tip. 6.52 to go, another offensive zone faceoff. Still, beside the, uh, besides the goal, I think we played pretty well here in the first period. Not, uh, not frustrated with that goal at all. That was a really well-executed goal. Uh, they exposed us defensively. Left the uh, point wide open. And we just do not have any slap shot accuracy today. Skate with it. Oh. Better get your head up. That's a solid hit that he had to take there. Detroit's lugging it along in their own end. Into the attacking end. Oh, no. My goodness. That nearly made it in anyway. Minnesota's lugging it through the center ice area. Dumped in. 
That one goes back in where a goaltender can make this play, not a defense. Well, I would have preferred a winger. But uh, Darren Helm decided he uh, didn't need to skate with me there. Pass attempt to Athanasiu. Athanasiu. Got some speed, not enough apparently. And that's going to be deflected with the blocker out of play. Devin Dubnik. Another good save. I didn't think my head was down. I was just... I don't know. Almost at a standstill. I had just started skating again. Well, I guess I do have Darren Helm lined up at center. I was kind of getting on him for the positioning that he was in. Broken stick. And he dumps it in. On the dump in. Detroit's in their own end, hopefully shifting from defense to offense. Well, that was glitchy. Athanasiu couldn't Chip get it in. Fleischmann. What is going on here along the boards? Now picked up. Propelled to Willette. Right off the left wing, it comes on Get it to Nielsen. Right Can't get around. Brendan Smith. Smith shot blocked. That hit somebody. It's Nino Niederreiter. Poke checked. He keeps it. Zach Parise deked himself in a submission. Then Advocator ran into me. And I have no defenseman. And they will just dump it in. That did not hit the broken stick. And in flight over the line. Oh, Mike, what the hell? Good defensive positioning there. A back what? <laughs> oh, no. Ripped along to Coyle. Coyle shot. Marazic, the save at the horn. And a well-played first period now for both teams. We are tied at one. Uh, can't be too uh, disappointed with that first period. I think for the majority of it, we played pretty well. Uh, did allow the goal on just what was a perfect deflection in the slot by Granlund. And, we had to break. And, uh, and there it was right there. That is what tied the game up at one. Dylan Larkin, the penalty or uh, the power play marker for us. Uh, there are the stats. Shots tied at seven. Hits tied at six. Faceoffs tied at seven. It's a pretty even game. Uh, but time on attack was uh, well in our favor. They got seven shots away in a minute 17. That is absolutely way too many. Uh, that just shows we gotta we gotta be better uh, defensive positioning. We gotta have better positioning defensively um, to limit those shots, block some more shots, and uh, we're in pretty good shape, I think, so far. Zetterberg's gonna lose that opening faceoff. Parise's gonna dump it in around. Mike Green able to get it up. Oh, Larkin, go, baby, go, go, go. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Parisi. Well, I kind of hit him. Puck controlled by Zetterberg. Well, I guess Zetterberg is going to be the winger. The wing. Shot. Oh, glove saved Dubnik. I need to stop going Zetterberg. there. I need to. My tendency is to go glove side when I go to my left like that. Well, the shooter's pretty disappointed, guys. I need to start at the left and then go right and then go blocker. It's a little bit of an odd shot, but uh, it's going to have to work because glove side's not working anymore. Cronwall. I don't know if he was looking for a tip there or what. Directing that one to Cronwall. Good And that was just a lazy pass. Oh, no, 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 no. There are a lot of happy humans there after that spectacular stop. I think we've done a good job of getting the puck out in this one. Nyquist, get up. Chip to Erickson. Nyquist blocked. What a break. Shot hit the man. Propelled to Eric Stahl. Minnesota's controlling play now up the wing. Erickson able to nudge going up somebody wing. off the puck. Big drive. Shot missed the net. And oh, Dubnik! And a good job in the goal crease. I don't have anybody down low. I had nobody. I was trying to slip that puck up to Nielsen. 
good defensive play. Pass, no changes. good. Here's Stahl. Athena to see you off the tip. Up the ice here. Loose puck brought in by well, I don't know what that was about. He lost he the puck, and I don't even think he was contacted. But the puck went off his stick onto the stick of Vanek, and uh, just had to take the shot with Vanek, had to settle there, or otherwise we were going to get smashed. 13.38 to go in the second, still tied at one. Darren Helm with Athanasiu and Vanek. Coy with Zucker and Stewart. Face off. Well, we'll call that a win. Oh, Athanasiu could have gotten that. And now it's directed to Coyle. Oh, wow. Well, that was an interesting little pass. To Shoot to one. Shot. Didn't get to the, the net. Vanek will get that to the zone Luke Glendening. Poke check. Right near the line. Really just Played didn't have any to where to go with that. We got to get back here. Carries it to the corner. Swept on to Suter. Lugged along the line. Back near the blue line to Brodeen. The Red Wings have well, that wasn't ice. the ideal way to get us out of there. Good shooting place. Ah, that's a good bad save. One in oh, we got Riley Shane back on defense. Oh, Halla made a turn, Mrazek. The wings lock the puck in the ah, zone. just a bad pass again. Slides it to the point to Can't let this oh, hurt us. Steve Ott, good block there. Nicely into the zone. to Cromwell and he's tripped and they'll be and we are going to go on the penalty here or on the uh, power play and so everybody pass no back. good Mike the Green can we get the there first and he skated right past the puck the so we will go on another power play this is Fleischman uh, on the trip 8-12 to go in the second and this is another one of those shot block trips that just uh, happens late and uh, the game thinks they're the tripping penalties so one for one of the power play already. two shots one goal really need one here shot no close. good can we keep it in we can Glides across. let's go oh it's in Gus Nyquist 100th career goal for Gustav Nyquist. This one, another power play goal. What happened here? That did not get past Dubna cleanly. I think it must have went off a wild player. 24th of the season for Gus Nyquist. What happened? He feels he should stop every shot on the glove side. He doesn't get to this one. I think it hit somebody. He went up. The puck went down. Of course, EA camera angles are not going to give it to us. So I really want to find out what happened to this puck. It had to hit something. So we'll follow it here with Nyquist. Ah, did it go off the uh, the ass here of, uh, who is this? Of Bartley? I think it did. Ah. Off the ass. It would have been probably a good save by Dubnik, but... Uh, <laughs> off the behind of uh, Minnesota Wild player Bartley and uh, into the back of the net. So a little bit of puck luck there. I mean, it is Valentine's Day. We're getting lucky here. Oh, it's sitting there in the crease. Dubnik with a save. Couldn't poke it by him. And Devin Dubnik makes another save. Had time, had a lot of space. With the lead, figured why not? Let's fire the sucker. Zetterberg and Koivu here. Koivu's going to win that face off. This is something that worked on pretty consistently at practice. Slid to Miko Koivu. 
Moving the puck quickly. Oh, wow. That's what you call a wardrobe malfunction. Taking that big hit and losing your helmet. So a helmet <laughs> is laying on the ice. Goyv was still with the puck. Parise. Now we got Zetterberg. Not going to get around. Oh, he got lost the puck. Advocator keeps it in. Erickson turns it over. We got to get a defenseman over on this other side. Come on now. Whoa, dangerous little tip there. We'll just skate with this. Wait till we had somebody open. So there's Tatar. Little stop and go action. Defense not there. They're changing, of course. Oh, we still had it. Wow. Pass to myself, Tomas Tatar, Granlund, right behind us. Defense the there this time. Jabbed away by Eric Stahl. Takes that pass. Slot oh, he his was looking there for the rebound, and it made its way through Brendan Smith. Jimmy Howard, or looking Peter Morazic, rather, to play it. And what do we got going on here? This is weird. There's a weird play here. Eventually, someone will free up some. I need a winger, and we got one with Advocator. Detroit's up the wing, settling things. Off the boards. Where is the defenseman? Gains the We're back in. Gathered in by Bartley. Got dispossessed there. Puck is thrown to Eric Stahl. Slides it to the point to Cromwell. Slap shot. Oh, 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 it's in! That's where I was looking. I saw that go right to Franz Nielsen. And, uh, wow. <laughs> how often do these work that perfectly for looks? Look at how open that net was. The goaltender's got to do a better job of that one, Edzo. He makes that first stop, but he leaves the rebound too close to the net where the goal scores. How about that one? Um... I think Gus Nyquist will probably probably maybe get four games. I think that seems to be about standard. I wouldn't be surprised if he got more, though, because that was just flat-out brutal. I mean, it's just like, even for me, I mean, it's just tough to watch. And I tried to play that back to the defenseman. It didn't work. We have a two-goal lead here. Oh. <laughs> oh, we might have something here with Darren Hill, and we got dispossessed. That's going to be offsides with 3.8 to go. Really nice milestone for him to achieve. 100 goals in his career. You have to have a lot of success to get to a number like that. Oh, it was such a dumb play. I didn't see it live, but I saw the replay afterwards, and it's just like, what were you thinking? End of period two. It's a 3-1 to one lead. Has been played, and that's the fun part. We now which is... Uh, Good to see. We haven't had many uh, leads going into the third period here lately. But uh, but we have one today. But as we learned uh, yesterday in the last game with the Columbus Blue Jackets, we can uh, not take any lead for granted, or, or we cannot take any team for granted as we enter the third period. And I've said that all year long. The third period, it, all these teams just seem to, to go into a different gear. And uh, really have fantastic periods. Two of our goals on the power play. That last one, Franz Nielsen, our first even strength goal of the night. 16 to 10 are the shots. Minnesota only had three shots in the period, so they're due. They're due for a good period. So we just gotta we just gotta hold them off here with a two-goal lead. They say it's the worst in hockey, but uh, I won't say any leads uh, a to bad go. lead. What are your thoughts so far? Minnesota's I'd say the worst lead in hockey is probably a one goal lead. One area of concern has been their time of possession. Koivu and Zetterberg at uh, center ice again. They tied up. Nyquist. Can he skate by? He can't. And then I don't know where the passing lock went on that one. Koivu. Oh, my goodness. We're just skating around right now. Oh, Nyquist shot block. Can he get away? Oh, almost had it, too. Dumped in. It'll be dumped in. Ah, it's, it's, where was the other defenseman? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You just hold on to that. Just hang on. 
pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody Ooh. learns the butterfly I mean, he, when they were a young It was an easy save at first, the and then he kicked it, and it somehow squirted through the crease, and... Uh, Oh, a little bit of a scare here in the early stages of the third period. A little push face off. We'll get this to Tatar. Skate all over the place here. Oh, Granlin. It's been all over the ice all night. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Peter Morazic is going to save us there. What an odd play. I don't know if ever, all the, the CPU tried to go get the puck that was just sitting there with the blue line, because that's what I was trying to do. And then because Minnesota was able to get the puck, they had uh, they had somebody in behind everybody. Ah, don't poke it there. Oh, Tatar, he's around. Use the speed. Ah, oh, good save. Got the positioning there. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Peter Morazic saves a goal there on a bad play by me. Detroit's lugging it up the wing. Fires. That's turned aside. Ah, cannot make mistakes like that. Chip to Eric Stahl. Ah, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, DeKaiser, okay, just stop. Why would you want to get that puck? Stall, Bartley, Spurgeon, back to Bartley, broken stick. Broken stick. Got us there, Tatar couldn't get it. Oh, it's still in, Helm. Tatar blocked. Propelled to Coyle. Ah, oh, we're doing this lateral skating again. Oh, he stops for a second shot wide, missed the net. Stick lift by Zucker. Windmill deke to the front, but it did not work. Now Thomas Vanek. Just take that shot, force that face off. <laughs> oh, holy shit, Peter. Yeah, I know, right? No, that was entirely my bad. Better stop. I don't handle the puck all that much with the goaltender, so whenever the goaltender comes out to make it, I'm always kind of freaking out. We've allowed goals uh, goals like that before. I'm going to sneak that up to Fleischman. Still a two-goal lead as we approach the halfway point of the period. Good blue line defense there. See if we can make it behind the net with Glenn Denning. We can. Do we have anybody open? We had Riley Shane. Oh, somehow we're in a round. Not sure how that happened. Still no passing open. With a great little back up there by Xavier Roulette. Oh, Morazic slows it down. That was some good pressure there by Fleischman, but we are able to... Oh, what the hell? What a weird deflection that was. Talking about making it look easy. Stop yeah, I don't know how he didn't score either. I, I He took a long time. I guess, if anything, that was probably it. He could have taken the shot right away, probably got it. He allowed Peter to get back into the net, and then he took the shot. But I thought for sure it was going to be a wide-open net. Here's Zach Parise, Nino Niederreiter. Oh, good deke. He's got Cronwall one-on-one. Oh, what weird deflection. Gets get that puck anywhere. Not really where I wanted it. Oh, wow. Thought that was offsides. I got somebody right on my ass. It's Zach Parise. We're going to stay disciplined defensively here. Got to move that puck. We were going to get hit. Good pass to Larkin. Not going to have the speed to get around, though. We're going to move to the middle. Oh, okay. The goalie makes himself look big. Oh, Larkin had it. On the As did Parise. Goes back deep for it. <laughs> Everybody cleared out of that pass. It's going to be an icing. I had two ice. guys up the middle. Ice. One went right, one went left. 6.29 to go, still 3-1. to one. 
uh, seem to be in control of this game to this point, but uh, Minnesota's a good team. They can score some goals. Uh, don't poke it there. Don't poke it there. No. Yeah, I saw that coming. Nino Niederreiter is going to get that goal. Uh, that would be the net battle feature, I would imagine. Nope. This uh, CPU defense not doing their job. Mike Green just sat there, didn't even uh, try to tie him up. Now, I would have taken a net battle there. It would have tied him up to the point where he couldn't have taken that shot. Couldn't have taken that shot there, and uh, it's 3-2. It's a game again. Neutralized faceoff win. They're going to slap that puck in. Man, Mrazek wants to play the puck a lot tonight. Uh-oh. Oh, how do we give that away? Just stay disciplined. Oh, I saw that coming. No, get back, Peter. Oh, how did he, how did he lose it? I thought I was skating with the puck the entire time. Oh, my God, this is terrible. This is this is so bad. Oh, Fanic! And he gets it back. Balls his way along. Back to the blue line. Sends it back the other way. Up the half wall. Collected. Nobody on the guy down low. Tipped it. Just can't get control of this right now. The cycle is real. Fanic, get it out. It's still in. Oh no, come on, oh no, own goal. Oh my goodness, and the only reason we got it out, they went for a change. Pass no good. Minnesota turning up the intensity. Windmill Deke, shot no good. Rebound goes to Stewart. Stall, Stewart. And we're able to slip that up to Applicator with two minutes to go. Had no one to go to, Vanek. Shot, and we will take that face off man that was scary they had the puck forever the delivered quickly but he smothers the bottom of the net so well gets his legs out to make the stop that's four in game minutes that they had the puck in our own zone the long ass shift oh I had a feeling that was gonna happen shot take a shot score Saw that rebound sitting there, and I hoped that somebody was crashing the net. It's 4-2, to two and we got our two-goal lead back. Woo! You want to score goals? Had some scary moments there for a second. Dubnik's effort is exemplary here. He does everything he can to try and make the stop here. Just not and it's good to see that that happens to the CPU as well. Uh, most of the time that's happening to our goalies, and that's how we're getting goals scored on us. Detroit's collected another victory on the faceoff. Oh, we did slip that puck ahead to Steve Ott. Somehow lost it. They are going to pull the goalie here. Holla! Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. See if we can get this to Steve Ott. He's around. And he fanned on it. Oh, no, Steve. Gains the blue line. Slid to Fleischman. Got a stick on it. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Parisi. Detroit's in their own end, carrying it off. Up the wing and still with it. Net empty. Back there, missed the net. I'm just trying to get a goal for Steve Ott. Directed to Eric Stahl. Still with it. Right along Stahl, Froelein, Abdelkader, and he's got Nielsen. All alone, net empty, and there we go. 6.2 to go. The Red Wings get the empty netter. And that'll seal it. No three-game losing streak for us. That one should put the icing on the cake. Time to go home. The empty netter will wrap this thing up. So 6.2 seconds to go. They will drop the puck. Nielsen 
An empty netter for Matt Blocator. And that'll do it. Detroit Red Wings 5, Minnesota Wild 2. Two game losing streak over. We all know losses are inevitable, but you don't expect a winning streak to end like this. What a this shot that was, though. The the off head. the face-off. Couldn't put it in a much more perfect spot than that uh, far side corner. And uh, that's exactly where he put it. Both goals for the Minnesota Wild. I mean, I can't be frustrated with those. Those were well executed. The slap shot from the point. And we had some some dirty goals. I mean, this off a rebound that went in. Um, Glenn Denning's goal that was off a rebound. He crashed the net and went in. Really well executed game, I think. Uh, total shots is going to end up being 28-21. That's good to see. We've been getting a lot of shots lately. Uh, two for two on the power play. It's just a, it's it's the best we've played in a long time, I think. Uh, it may have been against the Minnesota Wild, who's struggling at uh, 25 and 26 in regulation this year, but. Uh, I definitely think we played played a much, much better game uh, today than we have any time in the last couple weeks. Uh, three stars. Uh, Franz Nielsen's going to get the first star. He had two goals and an assist. Michael Granlin took a penalty, but is somehow still the second star. He had the one goal, and Nino Niederreiter the other goal. Uh, the second goal for the Minnesota Wild in a 5-2 final score. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you in the next one. Take care.